Hello and welcome to the April edition of Dyer's Prize Unboxing, where I open the prizes that I've won in competitions. Now, it's a late start this month. We're already, I think, on the 21st or 22nd of April. Um, and we spent the first two weeks of April on holiday in South Korea, which was amazing, fantastic trip. And please do check out my Instagram if you wanna see some of the photos and videos from it. But anyway, I'm rushing a bit at the start of this unboxing because I've had a prize hand delivered to my house, which needs to be opened urgently. So here it is. It's a box and it's from Far and Found Gifts, uh, but also it's from Food by Bex. And it is, it's quite exciting because it was actually a surprise. I didn't know what I'd actually won. So it is some lovely handmade brownies by Bex and just made a cup of tea here and I need to eat my brownie with my cup of tea which is why I'm recording this now so I can show you a full box of brownies rather than one with three missing um, so looking forward to eating these right away and I will let you know what they're like um, but also part of this same gift um, came yesterday and I haven't opened this one yet I don't know what's in here and this is from Quaff and this is um, a wine cellar in Hope so this thinking it's probably a bottle of wine I don't know what kind of wine so let's find out oh it is Pic Paul de Pinay which is one of my favorite white wines which is very handy so um, that will go in the fridge right now because I'm stood right in front of the fridge perfect all done and so let me tell you about this one I didn't win this one Shirley won this one for me it, it was with Far and Fan Gifts, who are on Instagram, and uh, they are a couple of ladies. Actually, where are their names? They're somewhere here. They are Lucy and Mina, and they source products from people local to you so if you want to send something to a friend you've got somewhere else in the UK uh, then you can ask far and found gifts and they will contact they will have local suppliers who are signed up to them and they will get them to hand deliver your gift to your friend which is a really lovely idea so um, Shirley entered this competition and tagged me of course because I live in Brighton and Shirley doesn't live in Brighton because it was specifically for people who live 10 kilometers in the area of Brighton so Shirley won and she sent me a message and said oh you've got some surprises coming uh, so it's really nice so um quaff they are on instagram as well you can follow them if you're in brighton like me and food by bex she is also on instagram and check her out she does some amazing celebration cakes and birthday cakes which look fab um, so that was a real lovely surprise and thank you very much to shirley for winning that for me Hi again, it is the 23rd of April, St George's Day, and Brighton are playing in the FA Cup semi-final today, so I've got my shirt on to support them, and fingers crossed, I didn't manage to get tickets for the semi-final, I, uh, I messed up with the, um, the, the window for me to buy them, the timing was all wrong when we were in Korea, and I messed up, so fingers crossed they beat Man United and get to the final, and we can go to the final instead. So anyway, um, back to the unboxing. Got a couple of email prizes to tell you about. The first one is, uh, hello, thank you for taking part in our Penfold Make It Momentous competition. Congratulations, you have won a £10 Sainsbury's voucher. Um, this is a competition on Penfold's wine um, and you can enter up to six times and it's an instant win and a prize draw. So the winning moments prizes are retail vouchers. Um, and I think, yeah, I won this one. I think I entered probably about three or four in the morning and I won. And also you get entered into a prize draw to win a £5,000 trail finders voucher, which is a lovely prize as well. So if you like Penfold's wine, I would recommend getting on that one. That closes in June. Um, another one I got right email is uh, congratulations on winning our Mother's Day giveaway. Please find enclosed your £50 e-gift card prize. Now I know a lot of people watching it, have um, they've had bigger prizes from Tesco in the last month because a lot of you have won the, the amazing £1,000 prizes that they were giving away in their egg hunt, which was an amazing competition. But this was one that I won um, in the Mother's Day comp back in March and they, it was just a little one on Twitter, another Twitter win this year and and it was um, just tweet and let us know a, a text, a funny text that your mum has sent. Um, now, I thought of actually one that my mother-in-law sent that really made us laugh a few years ago. And it was, um, is a three bigger than a four? <laughs> And my husband and I, we were, we were in the car, I think, when it came through and we just could not work out what it was. And then 
figured it out. Um, she was talking about paper sizes. So she was asking, is A3 bigger than A4? Um, but I think we should put spaces between A and 3 and A and 4. We were like, what's this about? So I, I tweeted that and I was one of the um, £50 gift card winners. Now Tesco do quite a lot of little comps like that on Twitter. So it's definitely worth um, just checking out their account, maybe even setting notifications for it to make sure you don't miss any good ones. Um, yes, so I've got two to open as well. So we've got small, small jiffy bag here. I think I know what this is because I can feel what it is through the packaging. Any, any letter with it? No, just a uh, a tiny, <laughs> a tiny kind frisbee. Um, this is their competition which uh, you buy kind product and enter the barcode, I think, and you can, you can enter every day. And this one, again, I'm not sure. It might have closed by the time you watch this, but it, I'm, it might be closing at the end of April, I'm not sure. But um, loads of prizes to be won. Loads of people have won frisbees and socks and things like that. But uh, there are bigger prizes, but I got a frisbee. So thank you to kind for that. Um, and I've got a big box here to open, which is exciting because I'm not entirely sure what... Um, what's going to be in it but you can see you can see who it's from it's from Campari so this was Instagram competition it was a creative one which I'm trying to do more of trying to find the time to do at the moment and it was celebrating it was my, I think it's Negroni week rather than Negroni day um, and Negronis are great because they're one of the easiest cocktails to, to make. You, you literally, three ingredients in a glass, a uh, gin, martini and um, Campari, stir it, dead easy. So they said, if you can share an Instagram reel with your sort of Negroni that you make, um, there's a prize draw to win a Negroni kit. Um, so I entered it on the last day, there were no entries. So I thought, right, <laughs> good chance of winning in this one. So. Oh, it took a while to do, it took a while to edit. So the, the filming maybe wasn't too bad, but then actually putting it together as a reel and, and getting it to work was a little bit tricky. I still, I've not done many of those. But anyway, I was quite disappointed at first because I thought, I can't believe I haven't won when I'm the only entrant. Uh, and then they did, I think they messaged me when I was in Korea, so it was a while after it closed. So let's find out what's in a Negroni kit. Blimey. We are there. Right, so bubble wrap, of course. Right, so, well, the obvious ingredient, of course, is the bottle of Campari. So I should say, actually, my Negroni, it wasn't a classic Negroni because I replaced the gin with Mezcal. It was a Mezcal Negroni, which was lovely, actually. So a bottle of Campari for the, uh, the supplies up here. And of course, this would be, oh, Cinzano vermouth. Now, I usually use Martini Rosso, so this is something different for our shelf. Cinzano Rosso vermouth. And this, I'm guessing, will probably be gin. I don't know which gin, I don't recognise the shape of the bowl. small batch gin so this is one that I've never heard of before so gin that captures the spirit of the Italian Riviera lovely so those are your classic Negroni ingredients and of course got two other things that you need to have your Negroni which are glasses to serve it in oh these are nice lovely we've actually got we've got two glasses that are quite similar to this so nice to have a couple more for when friends come round um yeah, so this is a, just a fab prize, really, because you know I love my cocktails. So um, it's, it's definitely worth the effort if it's a prize that you really like and you think, oh, it's going to take me a bit of time to do this. But, you know, if you've checked out the hashtag or checked out the number of replies and you're thinking, well, nobody's entering this, I've got a really good chance of winning, then see if you can find the time to enter it because it's definitely worth it. So lovely. So that's my Negroni kit. I'll take a photo of that to share on Instagram now, although it's a bit... oh. And Campari in the bottom of the glasses is very nice as well. So lovely. It's a bit early for a Negroni today, but if, if Brighton win, 
Maybe I'll be having one later. Um, oh, just one more thing to tell you about, actually. Another Twitter win. Um, I think, do you think it's because I did, I did my guide to Twitter recently, didn't I? Tips for, for Twitter comping. And I have done pretty well on it this year so far, to be honest. So uh, this is just another, a simple um, retweet and reply one. And it was a gamer. It was Chris Chesnoid Gaming. And he was giving away FIFA points. So um, three prizes of uh, points to use on the uh, FIFA ultimate team um and i won one of those and unfortunately i hadn't realized that they are xbox specific so if you get the points you have to use them on the xbox rather than the playstation they're not cross-platform um but one of ryland's good friends clem is he plays fifa on the xbox so rye gave them to to him to use uh, and that was yeah 30 pound worth of fifa points so thanks to chris for that and that is it for the time being. We are actually quite near the end of the month, aren't we? We've got a week left. There's a couple of prizes that I think I've got stuck in the post, which hopefully I can still unbox for you this month. And there's another one I do need to tell you about, but I'm waiting for confirmation, an exciting one. So I'll be back soon. Hello again, so it's the end of April and I've got two more prizes to share with you. Um, the first one, I got a DM on Instagram yesterday from the finest Fudge Co and I've won a pair, no actually four tickets to the Foodies Festival in Brighton and I've I managed to win tickets to the Foodies Festival every year. Uh, it's just in Preston Park, which is just there, basically really close to where we live. It's great. Um, and it also includes three blocks of fudge, which is great. So we will be going there on Bank Holiday Monday and having a great time, I'm sure. Uh, I've even heard that Martin Kemp is doing a special 80s DJ set. So uh, yeah, should be good fun. Look forward to that. And I'll probably meet up with a few of the local Brighton Breezy Comp Club girls there as well. Uh, and then one more, one more prize to open. And this is from Adidas. And I know what it is. Okay, so now it is a football shirt, but not the usual team that I win stuff for. One of my other teams. So, you know, of course, my number one team is Birmingham City. Now, I don't think I ever win anything for Birmingham City. There's very few competitions and it's obviously a long way for me to travel uh, to go and see them play. So I don't generally enter to win tickets. My second team is Brighton and Hope Albion because I live in Brighton and Ryland supports them. And my third team is the Gunners Arsenal because Rob supports them. So this prize is an Arsenal shirt, which is quite exciting actually because I don't own one. Um, and when I have gone to Arsenal matches, I generally borrow one of Rob's old shirts. Um, so this is a Arsenal home shirt. Hooray! So that's nice. So I finally got my own Arsenal shirt to wear. And this is a prize from Copybet on Twitter. It was a competition where you just had to um, retweet and reply with your prediction for a result. It was the match on the 1st of April, the day that we went to Korea, and I think I was probably entering some competitions before we went on holiday, and I said that Arsenal would beat Leeds 4-1, and they did, um, and I was the lucky winner, so I said, yes, please, send me an Arsenal shirt, so yeah, chuffed with that, and I'll put that into my little collection of football shirts, um, so thank you very much to Copybet for that, and I think they do quite a few similar competitions as well, so um Obviously, it is hard um, to win a sort of a estimation, a prediction competition, isn't it? But you're, there's going to be less people if you do something like a 4-1 scoreline than a 1-0 you know, or a 2-0. So you've got less chance of it actually happening, but then if it does happen, there's going to be less competitors for that prize. So there's some logic there somewhere, isn't there? Anyway, that is it for April wins. I'm still waiting to hear on the exciting prize. So that will be in the May unboxing to tell you all about that one. Um, but wishing you lots of luck for next month. And I'll hopefully see you soon in Lucky Learners and also in Boot Compers. So um, on the 1st of May at 8 p.m., we're doing our monthly group call in Boot Compers. If you want to hop online and tell us about what you've been winning in the last month and how you're getting on with all your goals and challenges. I'd love to hear about them. See you soon. Bye.